Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to open up an account with Alpaca. So open up your Google browser and uh, type Alpaca dot markets. Click enter and Usually it's the second one on the list. Make sure it says Alpaca Markets when you open it up. Now, um, we're going to sign up for free on this box. So you click on that. You type your email address. It's the user. This uh, email account is going to be deleted after this. I'm just using it for purpose of this. So I'm not worrying about anything. Then we're going to sign up for free. Okay. I guess we can. We're going to use a longer password. Longer password it has to be at least twelve characters. Sign up. Now I'm gonna go to my account. Use cloud. Open that account. Now I'm going to open up my Gmail and open up the Gmail to get the verification code. I'm going to copy that. Copy it again. and we're going to paste it on this box. Click on verify. Email is being verified. You have successfully logged in. Welcome to Alpaca. Now from here we going to open up a individual account or business account, whatever you your needs are. It's asking you if you are a U.S. resident, taxpayer. Click yes. Now click continue. It's going to ask you for some information here. So it's going to ask you for your name. And some information, personal information, social security number. So should I use a random number for now? Just for the purpose of the video. And then I'm going to have to delete the account. Okay, something wrong. Oh, one number is missing. Okay, there we go. Continue. Scroll up. Then should ask you for your address. I put a random address also. 
que podría ahorrar address, of course. And phone number. That's not my real number, so you can call it all you want. That's asking me to provide details about a trusted contact. I can skip that for now. You can do that on your own. And it's going to ask you for annual income. I would say make some somewhere there. How much money I have. And um, investable liquid assets. How much money do you have in the bank? You put, of course, you put your own information in. And you can click on either one of these boxes, whichever applied to you. And we continue. Next one is going to be uh, your employee, an employee, retired student. I put I'm an employee. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to them as long as you have money to invest. Do any other following apply to you or your family? If in case you you have a family member that works in the stock market, that's what they want to know if you're an insider. So you're gonna have to read through this and in my case I will be um, I would say none of the above because none of them apply to me. Otherwise, they're not going to accept your account if you are an insider or a shareholder or whatever. So, click on continue. Now, in order for this box to open, you're going to have to open these two boxes. So, what I, what I do is right click on it, open it in a new tab, right click on it, open it in a new tab. No, I guess that didn't work, so I'm going to have to click it. Read through it, put your name in there, and blah, blah, blah. Go back to Alpaca, click on the other one, and you have to fill that up. And go back to Alpaca for now. You can do that later. And click on agree. On this one, in order for this one to open, you're going to have to scroll down, all the way down. Just to make sure you read it. And submit application. Drag it. And it looks like I'm already in there. I'm already in the account. Uh, you can go to live trading. You are in live trading. You go to paper trading. Live trading is not active until they approve it. They're going to send you an email and they're going to say, we're going to approve it for you. So in that case, you're going to have to use, um, still you don't have an account, but if, let's say you go to paper account. Once you have your live account, you're going to have all of these options on the left where you can, let's say, uh, you can read the documentation, a community Slack, community forum, paper account, Paper orders, paper positions, all of that. So, 
In order to have live trading, you need to pull up from them. Looks like I'm already in live trading. Okay, got approved right away. So I can just buy stocks over here. I can put any symbol. Uh, once I put it in, it's sitting right in there. The price is right on the on the right side. I can put my quantity, how many I want to buy, and review order. Once you review order, it's going to ask you to confirm the order. But we don't have any money in there, so it's not going to work. But you can, until you put your money into this banking tab, you can link your bank in here, transfer money to that. Just, and then you're going to have money, just like in paper trading. And I can start buying my stocks right away on paper trading. So I can practice my skills. Okay, that's going to confirm your order. So I'm already... I already have one order in of NEO with a hundred, uh, hundred shares, hundred uh, securities. And it's accepted. So that will be accepted for the next trading day, which is tomorrow. Uh, now I think that's everything. That's everything that I can teach you to do just to get going. After that, um, we're going to have to make some other tutorials or uh, there's more. There's a lot more to learn. There's a lot more to learn about trading and APIs and all of these. Uh, so it's going to be for another video. Thank you.